السلام عليكم سلام الله um, I have a question about um, marriage because uh, recently I uh, got married and um, one of my requir requirements was that uh, the one that I'm getting married to is uh, a Muslim that prays and is a virgin like me and uh, <clears throat> Some weeks now after our marriage, uh, I found out that she she never was a, a virgin and she have done it with multiple guys before me. Would I be sinful if I uh, leave her? And is is it wrong for me? To how leave her? how did you come to know? She she told me myself herself. Out of, out of the blue, or you? interrogated her or insisted on her or please tell me I'm not going to be angry. Yani, let's be transparent. And uh, No, I, I didn't do that, but uh, I remember she asked me what's, what's one of the things you like about me and I told her I like that you are clean just like me. You know, I never interrogated her or pushed her to tell me. Okay, first of all, this is a problem not a lot of the men face, unfortunately, or fortunately, but some may. And we've stated this so many times, and we got a lot of hate mail because of this. When we say, Akhi, when you repent to Allah and you conceal what Allah has concealed, it is sinful. There's no way out of it. There's no doubt among any scholar of Islam. I'm not talking about ignorant imbeciles who write on the internet or on Twitter or in platforms like this who don't even know how to clean themselves after defecating. I'm talking about scholars of Islam. They all agree that it is not permissible to disclose your previous sins that you've repented from. So if a man was a playboy spending his time between Monte Carlo, Nice, Cannes, and casinos in Las Vegas. And all of a sudden, he repented to Allah Azza wa Jal, and he started growing a beard and acting like a proper Muslim. When, once he proposed, is he obliged to tell anyone? The answer is no, it's not. He's obliged, he's prohibited from telling anyone. After marriage, he feels so close to his wife, he wants to yeah, and he confess, it is totally prohibited. If you do, you're sinful, Allah will not forgive your sins. Because this is the hadith. Likewise for a woman. So one says, but Sheikh, I'm a virgin, I want to marry a virgin girl. Well, the definition of virgin in Islam is a woman who's not married. In a marriage contract, we have Bikr and Thayyib, a virgin and someone who was previously married. So a virgin is a one who did not marry before. We do not disclose whether she was engaged in premarital relationships and had one or multiple boyfriends. This is something in the past, Allah concealed. Now she's a practicing woman, she's a hijabi, niqabi, memorizes the Quran. She's one of the sweetest people you may ever encounter. So she must not tell anyone, no matter how far or close, or even hint about it. If after marriage, you discover by a mistake of this woman, or by any other means that she is not as you have thought her to be, Allah Azza wa Jal forgives major sins. Allah forgives shirk for those who repent. How wouldn't we as humans have the ability to also forgive and pardon and move on? <clears throat> if she checks all the boxes, she's clean, she's pure, she's hijabi, she's practicing, she prays on time, she's an excellent wife and she's going to be an excellent mother, Wallahi, even if she was whatever she was before marriage, I would not care. All what I care is about today. Her pasts are in the past. And Allah concealed them 
and I'll put a lid on them and I move on. But at the end of the day, it's your call, Akhi, and Allah knows best.